It is difficult. We get we get um, interactions from other from animals. Things like sharks and squids have have taken bites out of the gliders. From the East Coast to the Caribbean to Antarctica to the Indian Ocean, these special robots have been through quite an adventure, all in the name of scientific research. Underwater robots have been around for more than two decades. Rutgers University in central New Jersey has used them since 1998. Their recent focus over the past five to ten years, studying and helping forecast hurricanes. They fly underwater straight into and through hurricanes, hazardous conditions too dangerous for humans, gathering important data in the process. This is where the brains of the glider are. These gliders make it easy for scientists and researchers to study different properties of the ocean. These scientific bays can be swapped out of the gliders very easily. This one studies ocean acidification, while the one inside the glider currently studies temperature and salinity. They profile through the water column by sucking in just a little bit of water in their nose. They get heavy and they sink and then they push that water back out when they get to the bottom. Dr. Travis Miles is an assistant professor at the Rutgers Center for Ocean Observing Leadership Program, or Are You Cool? He's helping deploy these battery-powered information gathering machines. It collects data every two seconds. Miles says the robots resurface every three to six hours to send data back to the shore before they continue to their next destination. That data goes to the federal government to help with forecasts in real time, and it's used for long-term studies too. What's really exciting is we're, we're not just doing this um, as scientists, we're doing this with students. Data's coming in in real time with students, seeing all of this happen. So we're building the next generation of oceanographers and hurricane researchers. Looking ahead, Dr. Miles says they want to get more advanced sensors on the robots to analyze ocean turbulence and understand the ocean mixing process that occurs in the middle of a hurricane. For AccuWeather, I'm Jillian Angeline. Hey AccuWeather fans, if you want to see more videos like this, check out some of our other ones right here. And if you like what you see, make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for more from AccuWeather.